Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Random Honest Reviews. I know I am supposed to just review gadgets and stuff, but since the ECQ, I have decided to do vlogs and share information that I know to help others transition from an actual office to a work-from-home setup. So today, we are going to talk about the computer and first, just the external parts of the computer. The computer. Let's start! <laughs> So let's go ahead to the basics of a computer. But ulitin ko lang, I'm just going to cover the external parts today. As for the internal, we will get onto that in the next video. So, basic question, lagi itong tinatanong, what is a computer? So, I'm just gonna give you an answer which our computer teacher um, asked us to memorize way back in high school. So, it's an electronic device or machine that has the ability to store, receive, create, and process data. So, basically, it's a machine that can accept, can produce. Now, there are so many types of computers that we use every day. Ginagamit natin. First is the smartphone. Then we have tablets. We have hybrids. Ito yung pwede mong i-detach yung isang part and turn it into something else. We have the desktop computer. We have the very portable laptop. And for work, merong mga PDAs na I'm not sure if there are still people who use this. And we have so many more that might also be developed in the future. But today, let's just focus on this too. The desktop and the laptop. So, ano ang parts ng desktop at ng laptop? First, of course, we have the monitor. And then, we have the computer case. Ang daming tawag dito ay CPU, but I don't call it that kasi ang CPU ay isang maliit na chip na nasa loob ng computer case. We have the keyboard and we have the mouse. Now, for the laptop, sobrang basic. Meron tayong monitor or LED or LCD display. Then, we have the keyboard and the touchpad. So, lahat ng mga chip na nasa loob ng computer case natin, matatagpuan natin sa loob or ilalim ng keyboard ng laptop. But of course, we all know na hindi lang yan yung mga nakikita natin outside the computer. We all know that we can connect different devices or peripherals into it and we can see those tiny holes or sockets and we call those physical docks the ports. Let us just run down through the basic ones. First, we have the USB port. There are different types of universal serial bus, and the most common one is the USB Type-A. This is the standard USB that we use for data transfer and charging. Then we have the Type-B that is mainly used by printers, scanners, and some audio interfaces like mixers. The Type-C is the newest USB standard. It is reversible unlike the Type-A wherein oftentimes we find ourselves inserting it the wrong way. This type can not only transfer data but can also support video outputs. Now let's move on to another port. We have the LAN or the Ethernet port. It connects your computer to a network. That is what you use with your internet modems or routers. But warning, not all laptops have that but desktop computers definitely do. As for the monitor ports, we have two. The first one is this good old VGA, though I'm not sure if in today's time okay pa to. Baka obsolete na siya soon. It is an analog interface and you use it to connect your computer to a monitor or projector. It gives lower resolution and fewer colors. Then we have the HDMI. This one is a digital interface. It allows your computer to transmit high quality audio and video to another device. Now we have the audio ports. Normally, the pink one is for the microphone and the green is for the audio. Now the blue one is for the line-in audio. Now sa laptop, usually, combo port na yan. It serves both as a port for your microphone and audio. Again, those are only the basic ports that you often find in a computer. There are so much more but I only covered the ones that we often use. Again, thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you again in my next video.